Facebook ads versus Google ads uh, for dentists, uh, specifically uh, kids dentists. So we just uh, thought of taking up this uh, specific category and really uh, looking at uh, Facebook ads versus Google ads. So because what we saw is that there is generally some confusion in the when you talk to doctors with respect to what they should take. And so, th so this video is just like a quick comparison for both of these options. So let's take the example of uh, a kid's uh, dentist in, uh, in uh, I've just searched for kid's dentist in Journey Road, right? And uh, so this is this is the Google business listing. And uh, the interesting thing for doctors is that this can really become the central hub for the marketing when it comes to Google. So you can just based on this listing, you can try and optimize your listing so that it comes in the top three for searches uh, relating which have your location in which you are listed and also you can run ads when people are so when i'm uh, talking about ads i'm talking about uh, these these kind of listings right so both of these you can manage through the google business listing uh, we are we are not talking about ads Okay, so with respect to ads, uh, I have actually opened up, uh, uh, you know, the backend panel of uh, Google uh, business listing. So I think most uh, most doctors today have uh, this setup. Uh, now the thing is that within the uh, Google business listing itself, you can set up a Google ad, right? It will just, right? It will just ask you three or four questions, and uh, you'll be almost. Uh, you can see that I just clicked on create an ad. And I just clicked, clicked on create an ad and I went here. Okay, so let me, so what you need to do is just basically put some keyword themes. Uh, so for example, you will say, um, no, so you have pediatric dentist. Um, okay, I'm just putting. Okay, so you have to you have to basically uh, put this a few themes. Okay, uh, you can also whatever you think is relevant, you can you can put. Uh, then you will be asked to write the ad. Okay, so this is something which you need to write. Uh, you have to put the website URL. Uh, put the phone number so that because the phone number gets displayed right here in the ad and uh, That's it and set your budget and you're willing to go so what and you're and you're set to go So what happens is when you when you do this your ads will start showing up when people are searching for kids dentist uh, pediatric dentists, you know these kind of searches um, and, and that's that your, your ad will, get, will start getting featured, right? So you can see how easy it is, how easy uh, Google has made to uh, to reach out to your uh, prospects, right? So this is one option, right? Uh, the, the good thing about Google is that uh, when you are targeting people of intent, because you're targeting people who are searching, okay? Now let's come to the other option, which is uh, Facebook ads, okay? Now. Okay, now uh, Facebook ads, uh, what we are referring to is that, uh, you know, when you're uh, the target audience, you know, uh, the patients. So, so in this case for kids, uh, we are talking about parents, right? So basically when they log into Facebook and we all, all of us know that we have ads on Facebook and Instagram, right? So it is possible, uh, if you're a dentist, it is possible to uh, show an ad uh, you know, show which which is uh, relating. Uh, it could be about anything. It could be about uh, uh, like a free visit uh, to take care of uh, the kids' uh, dental problems, or it could be just like a guide which they can download to take uh, care of uh, dental hygiene of their kids in the pandemic. You know, you could or it could be a video right, about the dentist actually uh, talking about something. So. Uh, it is you know all of this can be uh, showcased and an ad can be uh, set up and uh, the way to do that is uh, through um, so this is this is the Facebook ads panel I'm just going giving you a quick overview of that so it is possible to uh, reach out to people uh, within a specific location you can uh, you can you can 
you can put up an age profile. So maybe for parents, you know, uh, maybe you're looking at uh, just people who are between 30 to say uh, 45, and um, and then you are. This is this is the the heart of the Facebook advertising, right? So the detailed targeting. So here you have to put the demographics, interests, or behavior. So you, know, you can put. Uh, so first of all, parents by itself is is a is a demographic. So you can put. Uh, maybe preteens and uh, you can also put say you, know, so you, you can put all these things <clears throat> okay and uh, so you know not, you know dental issues is not something which people uh, talk about on 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 Facebook or Instagram so but you can put some proxies right uh, here so for example you can put um, say play schools Or, or, or let's say uh, Kidvania, right? Kidvania is something which most parents uh, are familiar with. So you can put that or you can put uh, the name of a popular uh, play, play, play school, right? play group school. So you, for example, uh, Treehouse. So Treehouse uh, can be, <clears throat> for example, one of the more well-known play schools uh, in Mumbai. So you can put that. So you can put kind of proxies which uh, which uh, point to the fact that this is a parent and who has kids and uh, could be possibly uh, interested in your services. And this, by the way, need not be Mumbai. This can be Johnny Road. This can be Ville Panle East. So you can see how um, it is possible to reach out to uh, parents who could be interested in, uh, in, in your services with respect to a dentist right the right the the difference here is that uh, on facebook we are we are reaching out to a certain profile a certain demographic you know the people who, could, who have an interest but they are not searching they are not looking for dental services right now so that's the essential difference that uh, one must remember uh, typically uh, in terms of clicks google tends to be um, uh, more you know, uh, the, 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 the more expensive, and this is less expensive. Typically, if you look at a per, like a click to click kind of cost, this is definitely uh, more expensive. So it's not uh, an either or. Typically, people start with Facebook and uh, as a business moves on, you can tend to do both. Right, so that was uh, the difference between Facebook ads and Google ads for a dental business. Thank you.